This is a 10 foot long or 3 meter by 1.3 uh, just over 4 foot wide cold frame. Now James who's building the house next to me had a couple of big panes of double glazed glass that he was just going to hoy in a skip and I came up with an idea of what to make with that so I bought the wood and basically made something to fit those panes of glass. Now there was also a little skinny pane of glass as well so I put that in the front. <laughs> so we get, we're going to get maximum light inside of here. Each one of these lids unfortunately weighs somewhere between 50 and 60 kilos which is, I don't know, 100 and, about 100 to 120 pounds for you guys in the US. That is bloody heavy, you know, I'm strong enough to lift this up, no problem now, but in 10 years, maybe not. So each one of these lids is a pretty ball busting weight, but with the addition of some gas rams, which I'll show you in a second, you can literally lift these up with your little finger. Watch this. <laughs> Look at that man. <laughs> I've just put these gas springs in today and they make it so much easier. And it's also a soft close as well, so if you drop it, it just closes softly. <laughs> so I'll lift this up and get it propped up and then I'll show you inside of here. So we've got two panes of glass in here which are approximately 1.3 meters by 1.3 meters which is over four foot square that is a, a, a big structure which is bigger than your average cold frame this is like a small greenhouse and then inside of here as you can see we've got some mirrors which will bounce the light back we've got two removable trays or benches they just lift out. So in the early season, we can put all our seed trays up on here, in the sun, in the real, you know, bright light, get those absolutely blasting away. In the mid to late summer, simply take these out, and then we've got this whole space inside of here for dwarf chilies, cucumbers, dwarf tomatoes. I basically want to try and get things that like heat in here and save some space in the greenhouse. I'll lift that other one up and then show you inside the whole thing. There you go. <laughs> That'll give you some idea of just how big this blooming thing is. <laughs> and that was just, well, it, it was just conceived because of the fact that I didn't want to waste those double glazed panels. <laughs> you know, it might seem a little bit extreme to go to the trouble of making something like that, but that's pretty much what I'm all about. <laughs> uh, okay, so in here we've got a gas ram on that side. We've also got one on this side, so we've got two on each one of these sections. And each one of these is rated at 500 newtons. I can't quite remember what that equates to in kilograms or pounds, but they're very strong gas spring rams. Or is it just gas rams? It might just be gas rams. I can't remember exactly what they are. I'll put a link to them in the video description because they make lifting these huge, heavy sections so easy, as you've seen. There you go, that's it shut up now. Just imagine how warm that's going to get, even in the winter sun. You know, you could easily put seedlings in there and bring them on. So warm. Now this structure is sectional, so each one of these lids is a single piece. Each one of the sides is a single piece. So effectively we've got six main pieces plus like a central brace that goes in here. 
it's quite a substantial structure. So the glass still needs cleaning on here, but apart from that, it's done. And as you've seen, it's so easy to lift these sections up, even though they're ridiculously big and heavy. I'm very pleased with this, <laughs> as you can tell. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing between Christmas and New Year. What have you guys been doing? Please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.